It's time again, guys. It's a confession thread. Confess your sins. Share your horrible, horrible opinions here. I stopped playing D&D because I kept making foolish characters and one of the players caught on and tried asking me out. I f***ing love overweight lizard men and especially if they're stubby. <laughs> Well, look, at least, he, at least he understands, like, no, I, I need to be I I catching on to me. I need to get off this now. <laughs> I need to expand on this a little more. The guy who asked me out was friends with the DM. I noticed this because the DM started putting me in scenarios where I would be forced into weight gain situations. Think like Bowser and the Boo Ghost in that one game. The player in question was a wizard and would polymorph into various monsters in combat but would tease me a bit before polymorphing back. Oh god. It came out to me because the player polymorphed into a large wyvern, pinned down my lizard man, and licked his <laughs> fat belly and threatened to eat me up because I'm so cute and tasty. I never believe this is a fetish. I just don't understand it. I really don't understand. Can someone, like, I don't know, can any of you guys explain to me in the comments? Or do I no, really don't. want to know? No, don't explain Actually, to me in the comments. Bother. I'd rather just be a complete utter ignore me yeah, when it comes to this Just talk about stuff. short stacks in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> I often make meme characters because even though I've played with the same group for five years, we can never get a campaign going for more than a few months until something happens in or out of game and we reset. Doing voices are only fun if you do it extremely well. Otherwise, it's stupid. Yes, I completely yeah. agree with that. Alignments are only an issue because people treat them like a rule instead of a suggestion or a guide. That being said, evil is the worst alignment because, more often than not, it's just an excuse to shit on other players in some way. Whenever someone in my grip plays an evil character, I either end up making a broken character to kill them, or have some sort of way I can kill them without much effort because I almost always need it. I feel really bad. I agree with everything that he so said. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, so I, yeah. I, 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 look, guys, don't judge me that much, but I always make meme characters, okay? I'm really sorry about it, but I love my meme characters, okay? Right? I think I've played like one or two ever, like proper characters. It's not my fault. I just enjoy them more, okay? <laughs> and yeah, honestly, alignments just, uh, I, I, like, I just don't even bother putting it down most of the time. Yeah. I would say it is, it's a nice suggestion, but uh, some people do tweet it far too. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. I'm not into it, you know? I've had a crush on someone in every group I've played with, but I'm too much of an Asperger to even do anything about it. I would totally suck and cuddle my current DM for good rolls at the next week's game. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta suck a bit of Ooh. for some good wood. You know what I mean? What? <laughs> <laughs> I urinated in the shoes of one annoying player in my game group because he crashed into my parked car. I, I imagine having a piss puddle in your <laughs> shoe. How do you get away with that? What did he, what did he, what, were the shoes just like sitting against a wall? Did he take them off when he went in? But did he take them to the toilet? Did he piss on like? What? No, but how did nobody notice this boy just <laughs> I know. sitting pissing? I, I the, hope it was a boy and it wasn't just a girl squatting over a pair yeah, of vans. <laughs> I don't know. Like this is, I don't know either. What do you really say about I that? I have no idea. No idea. Um, next post. <laughs> I go out of my way to get fur f characters killed in game. Even if they're not being a degenerate about it. I f hate furries so much I do it out of principle. Good. Good. My type no, of guy. Hundred percent. I do it. Yeah. Honestly, see boys said no. Furries out the door. Get away. Yeet. Don't care. Yeet. I can almost hear the furry sympathizers in the comments. Oh yeah, you, you know they're coming. <laughs> yeah. I have a hard time playing one of my friends' games because he's borderline autistic and has some other neurological disorder. And through a combination of being slightly slow socially, extremely argumentative, and having no grasp on following social interaction, I am the opposite, and generally sensitive to social situations, highly empathetic, and by being a bipolar empath, often exceptionally social and emotionally aware. The campaign he runs, a kind of post-post-apocalyptic game, is massively well developed, but alongside the fact that he never uses any of it, and his DMing skills is mediocre, forgets he hasn't told us stuff in the regular, expecting us to read his mind or constantly cross-referencing every word he says with the 20 page long player document to make that guess. Everything seems like it's designed to reward his way of thinking or punish mine, 
Almost every single DM player character we've seen has been stupidly more powerful than us and happily made to show about it, while not giving a f about any rules or basic common morals or sensibilities. Well, if we ever step out of line, it's punished heavily. I took a faster path to reunite with the party through the country and nearly died several times. One of the best sessions I had because otherwise I never got attention. But the repeated attempts to kill me and then make me look like an idiot got tiring. My previous character was treated as his own personal multi-tool. So he loudly announced whatever he wanted me to do in a half passive aggressive outcry, which would be the only option. Robbing me of a ton of agency in some of the only situations I'd been able to do something in roleplay. And when I retired them, the DM took special time just to f with them so their dream, that they retired to, was shattered. My current character has been regulated to NPC status more than the actual NPCs and the campaign has shifted to focus around one girl in the group who's been favoured immensely. Oh, I don't even know where oh, to start that with that. Oh, that just sounds so depressing. Honestly, that, that is, that's just a really depressing situation. It mate. sounds so I just, depressing. I, I don't think I've got the, I don't have the mental energy to keep up with that sort of thing. No. I couldn't, I'd be like. I just wouldn't show up. Yeah, I just I would just be, no, sorry mate, I'm not going to be able to make it to the next few sessions. And yeah. then just, you know, but I suppose he probably knows this guy in real life, so. Yeah. But no, honestly, like, just, no, it's, it's, it's probably just not worth it, mate, to be honest with you. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but today's sponsor is brought to you by Neckbeardia's 3D printed models. Go ahead and check out the eBay store down below. We have tons and tons of really cool looking models. We've got it all from orcs, dwarves, the lizards and fish people. And yes, most of the sets you can get some big bitty bitches in with them. <laughs> and honestly, they're our biggest sellers. Yeah, by far. Yeah. All the models are printed and processed by us and it is by far the best way to help us out to do what we do. So go ahead and check them out below and just just look at this lizard lady with titties. She got big titties. <laughs> look at the titties! <laughs> As a DM, I constantly fudge dice rolls. I rarely take a die roll at face value and I do it always behind a screen. I just declare automatically what is rolled after rolling dice merely for the sound. I do it entirely based on what I think narratively works for the story. I reward successes based on players acting smart. I punish with failures based on them acting stupid. Or if I need the encounter to go on a little longer. Or I fear if they're being beaten too easily. They haven't figured it out yet, I don't think. I think that's really common with a lot of DMs. So yeah, but I, I get it. I, I get why you would if it fits the story. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Like, you know, just the only thing is you can't ever tell the players. No. You know what I mean? Otherwise, it does go in a lot of the suspense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, no, but I definitely do get that. I and, get it. And I don't mind DMs fudging dice schools from time to time behind the screen. If it works narratively, I think it. I think that's yeah. fine. That's not a sin at all. I make porn of my female characters. The fetish depends on the character. I think this is the same guy in every fucking confession. Yeah. Set. It's like, look, I just like to, I just like porn, to make porn of my characters, okay, guys? I just like to make porn. <laughs> <laughs> I ruined the first game I was in. I was a tween at the time and was playing with my family. And I didn't like the Underdark setting. As well as the DM's OC setting he shunted us to when I got too whiny. Which sucks because, looking back, that setting, the Underdark one, the other one was still pretty shit, was pretty fucking sweet. Honestly, though, that's pretty standard, though. When I, like, don't play with kids. Yeah. Oh, also, another game, one of the players brought his girlfriend. The other players were 18 to 20. I was 13 or 14, I think. She would always squeal at me and want to talk and hug me and say I was adorable or something. It was almost definitely sexual <laughs> harassment and made me really uncomfortable. But on some level, I liked it. Mostly for the boost in confidence about my appearance. To dispel any SS bros out there, she was short and black and I was gay, so no cigar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that one at all, but um, sure. <laughs> I had a that guy streak when I first started playing tabletop role playing games. I've improved, but my first few characters were pretty obnoxious. I think most people do that yeah. though, you kind of have to get over the bump. Yeah. I played a character in a Call of Cthulhu game who was crazy just so that I could justify doing whatever I wanted. And I had a habit of derailing the game pretty hard. He regularly punched NPCs in the face for no reason, argued with other PCs and I'd have him act out whenever I got bored. 
which was frequently because I wasn't actually paying attention to the plot. I also played a sociopathic murder hobo in Shadowrun, whose approach to solving any problem was to shit it with her assault cannon. I justified it because all of the cyberware she had dropped her essence score to near zero, but honestly I just thought it was funny shitting people in the face with a fuck off big gun. I've gotten a lot of that toxicity out of my system, but I do regret basically ruining the games I played all those characters in. I just at think least he knows think, yeah, his mistake. They know, yeah, exactly. You know, and I think a lot of people that do end up pulling shit like that, they don't actually, they don't even understand what they're doing. Yeah, you know but what at I mean. Least this one has. And I think it's this, a self awareness. Yeah, the self awareness of it. Yeah, you know what I mean. The guy takes key. You know what I mean. I think I think that's the key part to take yeah. away from this. This guy understands. You know. Yeah. Horrible, horrible opinions. 40k is the only good sci-fi setting. Wrong. Shadowrun is the only good cyberpunk setting. Yeah, I actually yeah, kind of agree yeah, with that. Probably. Be honest with you, I'm not going to lie. Lord of the Rings is overrated and pretentious. No, you will no. never be forgiven no. for your sins. Ring that bell. Ring it. Ring it. I don't know where it is. <laughs> chess is shit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. It's not that bad. I don't play chess. Steampunk is cool. No, it's steampunk. not. Steampunk is steampunk is so shit here. Shit. Steampunk. What the problem with steampunk is? It's pure style over substance. There's not all it is is just style. The it's weirdest, just like, the weirdest oh, yeah. people dress in steampunk oh, clothes. Oh, it's always a hyper. That, I mean, the, it, oh, weird. Why is it always like middle-aged men that are into I don't steampunk know. as well? I just can't, I don't care. I don't like the goggles. I don't like the tall pads. I don't. I like don't like the, the clockwork shit. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not for it's me. It's not. No. No, it's not for me at all. I really don't like steampunk, and I'm sorry if you guys may like steampunk, but I just think it's shit. It's There's, weird. They, they, I, I, I've, it's I've, weird. I've, I've yet to come across a setting that uses it, and it's actually cool. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. It's just not. Well, as always, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember, if you have any of your own confessions that you would like to confess to us... Get it off your chest, Get it off boys. your chest. Get let, it off your chest. Let us know in the comments down below. You know, we're going to do a video on your ones next week. So definitely put them down below. And whether you'll be forgiven, well, we'll just find out. You we'll know let what the I mean? bell decide. Well, yeah, we'll let the bell decide whether or not you're going to be forgiven or not. But look, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We haven't done a... Th uh, confession thread in a while yeah. so I enjoy them anytime I see them pop up it's like yeah I'm definitely going to do this one yeah. so like, as always hope you guys enjoyed remember like comment subscribe check the advert all that other good shit and we'll see you next time bye